So you know, I said I wasn't gonna make this video all that long. <laughs> you know, I guess I didn't live. I just didn't. I really didn't think I was gonna make it as long as the other series. But when you think about it, considering how little time I've spent on this painting, it actually is coming out pretty cool. And so I'm just kind of doing little spiral knots and then adding the dark next to the light. And yeah, this is a good way to start doing tree tree definition. And then you, you come in and uh, you know you can add more detail. But do you want to start out? like this, pretty much how I start out when I do my trees. Add a little bit of that sky color. And as you, you know, as you keep working, you just you keep kind of get more and more detailed as you go, and eventually you kind of start adding. Like let's say, uh, let's say I want to really work in this part right here, and so you just keep adding those little tiny details, and details and details, and eventually what you get is you start getting you know this kind of structure that starts to look kind of like tree bark. As you can see, I'm just getting more and more detailed. This is going to be kind of like a knot area as it kind of comes out and the line comes up there. It's actually kind of fun. You can actually have some pretty, you can have a lot of fun. And I'm just kind of building on top of those shapes that I already have built there. And then I'm just kind of imagining, you know, more of the tree bark that would be there. Then you can add this uh, slightly. Notice I'm like using all kinds of weird colors, you know, like this is kind of a blue. And I'm adding just little details now. Kind of splintering off like that, and then dark colors to bring that out. Anyway, so you'd kind of do that right there, and you can do that for the whole entire tree. I'm not going to do that for this one because uh, it's just too much work. I don't really care to do this painting anymore. I'm done with it. I've already done it once before, so like I said, I don't like doing paintings twice. And I've pretty much already done this one twice, so I can add some little. So basically what I'm doing there is I'm just kind of adding a tree branch to the background. I'll add, I'll add a couple little details just to kind of hint at it. There we go. And finally I will I will throw in some grass up here. We'll call this baby done. Adding a couple little highlights, some of the okay. And save this, and then we'll do the final touches. So I guess that helps to learn how to do final touches. And you know, let's say I had I wanted something in the background. I mean, obviously this, both of these don't really have anything in the background. But I did have some leaves there, but um, hold on a second. Okay, so I used these uh, cloud brushes really quick and added some quick different cloud texture. And you know, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another layer and I'm going to kind of bring some of these cloud structures like that and then I'm going to get my regular the heck there we go and using the eraser I'm going to come in let's see I turn this all the way up just by pause just to do this really quick but actually I'm going to use this here there we go that way some of the that way she's kind of like in the clouds it's kind of pushing through maybe I'll even uh throw in one of these oops there we go and if I can oh wrong wrong brush and let's see here so I'm going to see what happens if I just kind of throw it's too dark or too yeah I don't like that one Try these different shapes here. There we go. That way it's kind of like she's in the clouds. Okay, now for the final touches, and what I do is I'm going to flatten all these layers. And I take that layer and duplicate it and go to soft light. And that's going to give me a lot of the change I want right away. It's going to uh, give me all the contrast and coolness. And then I have these other layers that we did in previous videos. And this was a uh, textured layer. And this here was just a uh, layer set to soft light with, a co with that color, that green color. So it kind of unifies the whole painting by adding that kind of color everywhere. And that was a little bit of the arm. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that layer now. Then I'll flatten this. And I'd probably save a copy of with all the layers there just in case I decide I wanted to change something. And so you might want to do that. And I'm going to pick a brush here. And I'm going to use uh, my regular brushes. I'm just going to add some final little touches. And I'm going to set this to soft light. I'm going to kind of pick this orange color. And you can come in, you can kind of add some color variations here and there if you wanted to and I can also if I wanted to um, I'm almost out of time anyway if I wanted to go and add some more texture into some parts of the tree and I don't have enough time to go into too much detail because I really don't want to make another video but I might have to if I want to totally bring this to its finish anyway so I go and add more detail to the tree in certain parts if I wanted to go back to soft light zoom in on her and if I wanted to add any more uh, change to colors I could do that now let's say I wanted you know add a little bit more orange to some places I could what if I wanted to add more of this kind of blue tone to some of the places to kind of tone down some of that I could do that as well and then let's say I wanted uh, this oranger part over here I can do that. Let's say a little bit of orange to her hair, or what if I want a little bit of blue to her, all of her hair in here? I can do that too. So anyway, this is where you just come in. You can add final little changes to the painting as you wanted it. And we're done.